Okay, posting a quick video today because so many people have emailed me about this. Yes, I know I have seen the uh, report that the Nano KVM includes a tiny quote-unquote hidden microphone, uh, a microphone that nobody, it's undocumented, it's not there, uh, but it is there. And yes, this is one of the first models that I was sent, and it has that teeny tiny microphone. It's kind of tucked away behind this GPIO pin. It's one of those little surface mount devices. Now, what that report kind of buries, and uh, actually, I don't, I don't remember if it mentioned it or not, but this is actually not, it wasn't designed to be a KVM in the first place. This is a RISC-V development board from a company based in China, Cypede, who has a track record of releasing development boards that are just that. They're for development. They're not really meant for end-user use. But I think they found that they could produce these things so cheap and build a little device that's, that kind of undercuts other things on price for remote control of computers. And that's why they built this thing. And they sent me a few of these. I posted a review, and in the review I said, basically, you know, trust it as far as you can throw it and, uh, you know, put it on a VLAN. Uh, all these things. I have a bunch of IP KVMs. There's a JET KVM. Uh, there's a Pi KVM down there somewhere. The GL iNet is making KVMs. Like, this is one that I've been testing. The Comet, they also have, like, the Comet Pro. What other ones are there? They, that's part of their Fingerbot system. Uh, Cypede also makes this PCI Express version, and I cannot find a microphone on this board, which kind of reinforces the fact that I don't think that they intended to put a microphone on a KVM. I think it's because they used a dev board and they just kept using the same dev board for this. So it's uh, Hanlon's Razor. Um, what is it? Uh, don't ascribe to malice that which can be described by just incompetence. I don't think that the engineers designing these things are incompetent, but they do release these usually before they're kind of fully baked. So e even this guy has a couple little warts on it uh, that are a little annoying. And the software for these things... The community uh, worked to build open source firmware for this that you can put on it. But still, even with that, I, it's a KVM. It has full control over the computer that you plug into it. So be careful with these things. Put them on a VLAN. Um, that's why most of us in the home lab community advocate for building your own router using open source software that you can document, having as much open firmware hardware that you can use so that you can track these things, because it's your responsibility. All the security that you're doing here, it's your responsibility to make sure that all these things are secure and uh, don't expose them to the internet if you don't have to. As I'm walking over here, I notice I have another Comet Pro that I've been working on as well. Uh, I'm going to post a video about some IP KVM soon, but this guy is the reason... Whoops, that's not the right way. This guy is the reason why these guys visited me. It wasn't because of the hardware but because of something that the hardware was being used for by North Koreans. So, you know, read into that whatever you want, but uh, if, you don't, if you don't trust it, don't buy it. That's, it's as simple as that. And there's plenty of options now, from the Jet KVM, which has been harder to get because of tariffs, uh, to GL iNet's offerings. Uh, or if you really want the most security and you believe that you can trust companies like Dell and HP and American companies, then buy their servers and have built-in uh, American software and firmware, which still is produced in China. So it's kind of hard to get rid of that completely from the ecosystem if that's your main goal. Anyway, I trust these if I put them on my own network and secure them on my own. I don't think that my voice is going to go out and escape to China. But uh, if you don't trust them, that's perfectly fine. I don't. I think that it's being blown up a bit because it's like the whole China bad thing. Any of these devices, when you plug it into a computer and give yourself full remote control, that's a lot of control. So I don't even have uh, KVMs set up on some of my systems because I just don't want that to be even a possible attack vector. Even the best software in the world has bugs. Anyway... That's all for Level 2 Jeff. I will see you later. And yes, there's all kinds of things here that I need to do with time. Uh, my timey-wimey stuff box is now full, and I now have multiple boxes up here that I've been uh, working on. So yeah, uh, very cool clocks here and very cool equipment for testing them below. And some cool RF over fiber uh, things down there. Anyway, we'll get to that at some point if I ever stop procrastinating on these projects because I keep finding new ways to explore time.